Welcome back to our channel where we share insights from the Bible. Let's delve into the captivating tale of Mordecai and Esther, weaving in the dramatic events that unfolded after Mordecai's vigilance thwarted an assassination plot against King Ahasuerus. Found in the book of Esther, Mordecai stands up for the oppressed Jewish people and foils an assassination plot against the king. His courage plays a pivotal role in God's saving work. Mordecai, a central figure in the book of Esther, resided in Susa, the metropolis of Persia, now Iran. He adopted his orphan cousin, Hadassah, also known as Esther, raising her as if she were his own daughter. Little did Mordecai know that this act of kindness would lead to Esther's remarkable destiny as the Queen of Persia. Esther's journey began when King Ahasuerus, Xerxes I, sought young virgins to replace the exiled Queen Vashti. Esther, with Mordecai's guidance, was taken into the king's presence and chosen as the new queen. But Mordecai's role extended beyond mere guardianship. He discovered a plot to assassinate the king, foiling it through his vigilance. Haman, the king's vizier, rose to power and demanded that all bow before him. Mordecai, unwavering in his loyalty, refused. Haman's resentment grew, leading him to plot the extermination of the Jewish people. Mordecai alerted Esther, who courageously used her favor with the king to reverse Haman's scheme. The Jews were authorized to defend themselves, and Haman was executed on the gallows he had prepared for Mordecai. Mordecai's bravery and Esther's intervention became pivotal in the story, celebrated annually during the Jewish holiday of Purim. Although the book of Esther is a novella rather than historical fact, Mordecai's legacy endures, a testament to the unexpected impact of compassion and courage. One fateful day, as Mordecai went about his duties in the palace, he overheard hushed conversations among the chamberlains, Bigthan and Teresh. They aimed to assassinate King Ahasuerus, the ruler of the vast Persian Empire. Mordecai's loyalty to the king and his unwavering commitment to justice compelled him to act swiftly. Mordecai discreetly informed the palace guards, ensuring that the assassination attempt was foiled. The king's life was spared, and Mordecai's vigilance earned him the gratitude of the royal court. But this was only the beginning of his remarkable journey. Haman, a cunning and ambitious man, rose to prominence as the king's vizier. His thirst for power knew no bounds, and he reveled in the privileges bestowed upon him. However, Haman's ego demanded more than mere respect, he demanded reverence. He expected everyone in the kingdom to bow before him, acknowledging his authority. But Mordecai, true to his faith and convictions, refused to bow. His spine remained straight, unwavering, even as others bent in deference. Haman's fury ignited like a smoldering fire. How dare this Jew defy him? The seed of hatred took root, and Haman's heart harbored a dark plan, one that would have devastating consequences for Mordecai's people. Haman's hatred festered, and he devised a wicked scheme. He approached King Ahasuerus, convincing him that an entire group of people posed a threat to the empire. These people, the Jews, were scattered throughout the kingdom, and Haman proposed their annihilation. The king, unaware of Haman's personal vendetta, agreed, signing a decree that would seal the fate of countless innocents. Mordecai, ever watchful, sensed the impending disaster. His loyalty to his faith and his people drove him to action. He sought out Queen Esther, revealing Haman's plot and urging her to intercede on behalf of her people. Esther, aware of the risks, used her position as queen to approach the king and expose Haman's true intentions. Esther's courage knew no bounds. She risked her life by approaching the king uninvited, pleading for mercy for her people. King Ahasuerus, moved by her plea, reversed the decree. The Jews were granted the right to defend themselves against their enemies, and Haman's wickedness was exposed. Mordecai's vigilance, Esther's bravery, and the divine hand orchestrating events all converged to save the Jewish people. Haman met a fitting end on the very gallows he had prepared for Mordecai. The festival of Purim was established to commemorate this miraculous turn of events, a celebration of survival, courage, and the power of loyalty. And so, Mordecai's seemingly small act of vigilance rippled through history, altering the course of an empire and ensuring the survival of his people. With unwavering determination, Esther stepped into the king's inner chamber uninvited. The courtiers held their breath, for such an audacious act could cost her life. But Esther had a purpose, to plead for her people, the Jews, who faced imminent destruction due to Haman's wicked decree. King Ahasuerus, surprised by her presence, extended his golden scepter, a sign of favor. Esther seized the moment, her heart racing. She revealed Haman's true intentions, the plot to annihilate her people. The king's eyes widened in disbelief. How could his trusted vizier harbor such malevolence? The king's wrath flared. Haman, who had orchestrated this evil scheme, was summoned. As he entered the court, the air thickened with tension. 
Esther's voice rang out, accusing Haman of treachery. The king's judgment was swift, Haman would meet his fate on the very gallows he had erected for Mordecai. And so, the tables turned. Mordecai's vigilance, Esther's courage, and divine intervention intersected, altering destiny. Haman's downfall became a symbol of justice served, a stark reminder that evil deeds would not go. Each year, the Jewish community commemorates this miraculous reversal during the festival of Purim. They read the Book of Esther, don festive costumes, and share joyous feasts. Mordecai's bravery, Esther's daring plea, and the unexpected twist of fate are etched into their collective memory. Like, comment and subscribe for more video like this. And so, the story of Mordecai and Esther endures, a testament to loyalty, courage, and the power of standing up for what is right. Mordecai's legacy serves as a poignant reminder that even unsung heroes wield immense influence. Their quiet acts of courage ripple through time, altering the course of history. When the tale of Esther is recounted, let us not forget Mordecai, the unwavering guardian who stood firm, shaping destiny with each resolute step. His name may not be as celebrated, but his impact endures, etched into the annals of courage and resilience. So, as we revisit this ancient narrative, let Mordecai's steadfastness inspire us. For in the shadows, behind grand events and royal courts, lie countless individuals who, like Mordecai, shape the world. Their legacy lives on, quietly yet profoundly, urging us to be vigilant, compassionate, and unwavering in our own journeys. May Mordecai's memory continue to illuminate the path for generations to come. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the rich tapestry of history.